Having trouble connecting to other players in multiplayer in Elden Ring? This video will show you what you can quickly check to try to find out what might be going on. First off, you need to understand there's a few different types of multiplayer. Summoning friends, summoning strangers, summoning allies, invaders, etc. The first thing you want to check if you're not connecting to people in multiplayer is your settings. Under system, go to this globe over here, the network globe. I don't have trouble playing any form of multiplayer, whether it's of strangers or friends or PvP or cooperative. And these are the settings that I have. I have perform matchmaking on, send summon sign enabled, launch setting is play online, and of course I have accepted the data usage agreement, which is something you have to do in this menu after you start playing your file. Make sure you have these settings. Next, when you're summoning friends, it helps to have a password on. Go to the multiplayer menu here, and under the multiplayer settings, for me it's hitting the Y button, you have a multiplayer password. Make sure you have the same password. I don't know if it's case sensitive or not, but I would make sure they are just in case. Everybody make sure you have the same exact password in every way. Make it something simple everybody can spell. If everybody has the exact same password on, you should be good. Conversely, if you're trying to summon strangers to help you with a boss or something, make sure your multiplayer password is blank. When you have a password in, there's an option to delete or wipe your password for me it's the X button and it wipes it. That way I know there's not even an empty space in there or anything. It's completely wiped, and now I can pull in strangers. If you have a password, you can't see strangers. If you don't have a password, it might be difficult finding your friend among strangers. Next, in order to be able to summon anybody, you do need a Fur Calling Finger Remedy. You need to activate it. You can tell if it's active or not by hitting your menu button and checking to see if you have the Fur Calling Finger Remedy icon below your stamina bar. As you can see, I have it up there. That icon disappears if you die, and I think it disappears if you complete a multiplayer objective or reload your game. But if you're unsure, just open your menus and you should be able to see that icon up there. These items are consumed on use but you can easily make more. You talk to Kale here and you purchase the crafting kit for 300 runes, very cheap. Once you have the crafting kit, all you need is two of these flowers, the Erdly flower. Then you go to your menus, item crafting, and you can craft them right here for two Erdly flowers each. Erdly flowers are easy to get. They grow right out here outside the church of Ella. I just picked up one, but I can easily reload the area by walking to the site of grace, sitting down, Sitting back up, running back over, and collecting another one. You can do this as many times as you want and get as many for calling finger remedies as you need. Now, if you're still having problems, you have all your settings here good. You have the uh, password on or off, depending, or trying to summon a friend or a stranger. And you have the icon up there after using a fur calling finger remedy. If you're still not being able to summon somebody, there's a few things to check as well. First, I'll discuss summoning strangers. What you're looking for to summon a stranger is something like this. You see these uh, runes here that you can read? Well, it's that, but the whole dang thing is yellow. Whether it's a friend or a stranger that you can summon to help you, this whole thing will be golden. If it's red, it's an invader. Sometimes there's consensual PvP, as we like to call it, where you can summon an invader, a red uh, icon, to battle or PvP with. But now that we're looking around here, you might notice there's no uh, golden signs. That can be for a number of reasons. A, there might not be players putting their signs down here. There just is nobody who puts their signs around this location. Where should you look for player signs? Around Sites of Graces, especially near the entrances to dungeons or boss doors. Also out in front of these, the summoning pool portal things, you can often find where players will put their signs down to be summoned as well. And of course, directly in front of boss doors. Here is a boss door. Normally it'd be shrouded with yellow mist. This would be another place to look for player symbols if you're, for example, trying to get help fighting this boss. If you're still not seeing player symbols, as you see I'm not, you also need to consider they don't appear if you've already beaten the area boss. I've already beaten the area boss, so I'm not seeing any player symbols. If you still have the boss, you have the fur calling finger remedy on, you have the data usage uh, user agreement accepted, and the correct settings in your menu, and your password is off, and you're still not seeing golden signs, you might just have to wait for a while. Getting help fighting bosses, particularly tough ones like this guy, the signs can be gobbled up pretty quickly. The player will put their sign down to be summoned, and immediately they're gobbled up by another player. You might have to be patient. But failing that, 
you might have a network issue. Unfortunately, the multiplayer in Elden Ring is not the most stable thing that you would hope it would be. You might have to try restarting the game or even restarting your router. On a couple instances, my friends had to restart their router in order to get multiplayer to work for them at all, or modem, or whatever it is. Failing all that, you might have some other technical issue. And at that point, I can't help you other than to say, try again another day, or try to get help from your internet service provider. Now, summoning friends is the same kind of deal except you have a password on. Under multiplayer, put in the password. The only difference here is that you'll see their signs at the exclusion of everyone else's. If you're not seeing their sign, then again, you might have one of those aforementioned problems, or they might have one of those aforementioned problems. But I have noticed a couple other possibilities. If the person you're trying to summon has their map up, for example, that can lead to a lot of summoning errors. I don't know if that's patched or not. We tested every time we had our map up and we were being summoned, it would fail for some reason. Also note, when you're summoning a friend, you're also leaving yourself open to invasion more often than not. If you're not seeing their sign down, or if it's down and it's grayed out and you can't interact with it, it might be because you're being invaded. Getting invaded can take a while, unfortunately. It kind of depends on the invader, but if some invader of a poor internet connection is joining your world, the world might not tell you for a good while as the player is trying to connect to your world. And during that time, you cannot summon anybody. You literally have to sit there and wait for them to finish their invasion before you can summon your friend. Hopefully your friend will pop in by the time you're fighting them. <laughs> That's true for all summons. When you're summoning one person, every Everything else has to be on hold. And please note, a lot of this troubleshooting applies to you whether or not you're the person doing the summoning or you're the person being summoned. But if you're the person being summoned, you will need to put down your tarnished furled finger, an item you get at the beginning of the game. Unless you're trying to be summoned for PvP purposes, in which case you'll be using the duelist's furled finger. Or if you're trying to forcefully invade another player's game to attack them, the bloody finger. Likewise with the effigies. To be summoned, you just activate the item and put your sign down, which shows up as golden runes. You can cancel it by activating it and hitting cancel. There are other items you should probably know about as well. Under the multiplayer menu here are all the items that you use in multiplayer. Here at the top is the finger severer. Activate this item to leave a player's world, or you could always jump off a cliff. Another item you might want is the taunter's tongue. The Taunter's Tongue you can get as soon as you first go to the round table hold. There is a balcony over here. Uh, don't jump down if you have a significant amount of uh, runes on you and you're afraid of losing them, uh, spend them first. But if you're not afraid of potentially losing runes, then go ahead and jump down. See all these blood stains? Well, that's no accident. When you jump down here, there's an invader that pops up toward this door that you must fight in order to get back up there. If you lose, well, your runes drop. But if you win, you get the Taunter's Tongue. He's not too hard, though. When you kill him, this appears, and you can finally teleport back up there. Now that you have the Taunter's Tongue, it's right here in multiplayer. You can activate it to lure in invaders. This will make your world a primary target for people using things like the Bloody Finger to invade other players' worlds for PvP purposes. I've already beaten the area boss, so I, I think that's why I can't use it right now. But a thing you might wanna do for PvP is to go to an area where you do still have the boss active, where you can summon people. Maybe summon a friend and activate the tongue. As soon as you activate the tongue, you will be constantly invaded. Every world has a total of four slots for players, including the host which means three people can join you. Two of them can be allies and one can be an invader. You can't totally fill up all your slots with allies, unfortunately, because there always has to be room for an invader to join. But you and a friend can sit here and wait for two invaders to join when you activate the Taunter's Tongue and PvP to your heart's content. If your friend dies and you want to get him back in, I would very quickly go back to the Taunter's Tongue and activate it again to turn it off so invaders stop joining as quickly as they just were and you have a slot open to resummon your friend. Like the Fur Calling Finger Remedy, you will see an icon underneath your stamina bar of the Tun logo. You can cycle the tongue on and off, depending on whether or not you're ready to incur more invasions. Um, but you can be invaded even when the tongue's off, it's just less likely and less frequent. And also note, turning the tongue on and off too repeatedly can lead to network issues. Spamming it on and off, opening and closing that door, can result in everybody just getting kicked from your game. So don't go too crazy on the tongue. <laughs> but using it once in a while, maybe like once every five, 10 minutes, it shouldn't cause any network issues. Now this place is definitely a place where I've beaten a boss. Let's see if I can, yeah, I can use this. I still can use the tongue here. All right, can I still be invaded here? I can't still summon randoms. 
so maybe I can't actually be invaded. Even though I'm using the tongue, because I have the area boss beaten, I don't think anybody can actually join me. I'm not seeing any player logos down, and I'm not getting invaded no matter how long I wait. And there's a lot of invaders here. <laughs> when just waiting for this boss door to summon my friend, we would get invaded frequently. And that was with the tongue off. Now I'm here with the tongue active, and I'm getting nothing. I wonder why it even lets you use it then. Use the fur calling finger remedy and the tongue. They both should be grayed out if they're meaningless, in my opinion. No wonder there's so much confusion around this. Why have these activatable if they don't do anything? You beat the area boss, these items should gray out. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of how multiplayer works in Elden Ring. And until next time, cadets. Thank you to our patrons that make these videos possible. Our Geist Wing Commanders, Commander HD41117, Commander Irish Love Circle, Glintwine, Valor, Yuri Teraday, and ZZZZTXR. And our Geist Cadets, Amy Hunter, Danny Taylor, Dreadnought CMV301, Fluffy Bunny1, Hilo Mars, Michael Wilson, Mogbish, Royal Gleaves, Trocads, and Travis Warren. And our Geist recruits 84 bandwagon blood butcher david lissell Felchammer, it's deer joe osborne paul calvin and slave thank you and until next time cadets